morning everybody I'm at home today it's a Friday and I've got some work to get done today yet that's why I'm home during the week I'm actually also gonna be home on Monday because we're doing a bathroom renovation on Monday so I got a few days at home coming up here today I've got to get my truck into Blumenort old blue needs to get her front shoes switched so those front steers are going to need to be replaced before winter that's what I'm thinking before the new year maybe I'll make it up to Christmas we'll see but as you're driving down the road the roads are slanted to provide you know water to be able to run off to the ditch right so the truck is always sitting leaning to the right because you're always in the right lane which means that the the right steer tire is always you know got a little bit more weight on it it's always got a little bit more weight than the other tire, which means it wears down faster so you got I'm gonna switch them now so that I can wear out the other tire as well. I can't switch the rims because they're a one directional tire. They have to spin the same way. So I have to take them off the rims, switch the rubber, but leave the rims there, right? And I don't have the ability to do that myself in my shop. So I have to take it to the tire shop for that. While I'm there, I'm also going to bring my camper spare. Yes, we still have our camper. I'm gonna be uh, doing some work on that today as well. That spare tire needs to be uh, patched because we had a flat at one point a couple of years ago. I've never gotten it patched. I have to get that ready to go. And uh, we're also going to be parking it in our shop this winter time. So I've got to start clearing things away from the walls in our shop. It's going to get a little bit cramped in there, but I want it inside for winter from now on. It's an investment that we made. Uh, a while ago and I don't like it just sitting outside winter after winter also that way I don't have to winterize it it stays warm in the shop I'll be able to fit it in there with old blue it might be a little bit squishy through the winter but uh, it's better than watching your money just you know freeze and deteriorate out in the elements so that's that's, that's our plan for today we're gonna start getting that already but first Timmy's should we give him a super duper today I haven't done that in a while it's my own weird little thing that I used to do, uh, just filling in the new people. When I, a long time ago when I started making vlogs in like, what was it, 2011, 2013, somewhere in there, uh, I would go to this one Tim Hortons in Sage Creek in Winnipeg. It was close to where I lived at the time. And every time I was done with my order, they'd be like, hey, your order's ready at the window. And I, instead of saying thank you, I'd always say super duper. And this one place always replied with awesome possum. I've never been able to get anyone else to reply with anything clever since then, so we'll, we'll give it a shot again today, like 10 years later, 12 years later. Hi there, what can I get you? Hi, could I get a, an uh, extra large coffee with two cream and a shot of espresso in it, please? Extra large coffee, two cream and a shot of espresso? Yep, along with a, a farmer's wrap with creamy barbecue sauce instead of chipotle? Sure, did you want that bacon or sausage? Sausage. Sounds good, anything else for you today? That's it. I'm sorry? That's it. All right, I'll be ready. Super duper. I said sausage, right? I said sausage wrap? Pretty sure I did. But I think, I'm pretty sure people just think I'm weird. I'm like, what did he say? Why? Oh, well, one day we'll find somebody. <laughs> I don't know why I do. <laughs> My Tim Hortons drive through trademark, I guess. I don't know. I'm a weird guy. I mean, maybe I'm not saying it with enough enthusiasm. Maybe I've got to be like, more like Ron Burgundy, like... Super duper neato gang. Maybe I really gotta like put my heart and soul into it for them to respond. Even if they respond with a laugh, I, I, that'd be cool. Usually it's just silence, awkward silence. <laughs> I'm just thinking, what is wrong with this guy? Oh, I get to the window, it's just me. Ah. <laughs> uh weird people like me we exist and I had children <laughs> Hi, all right I gotta go. oh I got this for you first oh not working there we go I'll be debit 
There we go. My money's your money. Thank you very much. You too. Maybe I should start saying it to their face, like super duper to their face, so that they can see what weird looks like. We're at my tire place, KK Panner and Blumenorp. I believe they're gonna pull me into one of these doors here. They're just gonna take the rubber from one side on my steer, put it on the other side, and vice versa. Hopefully we'll get some even wear out of this. I wanna be able to make it. It'd be nice if we could make it to Christmas on these steers. This is the driver's side. Take you around to see the passenger side. You'll notice this one's worn down more, right? I'm just gonna switch them. Old Blue sitting back there waiting uh, for her attention. KK Penner here was nice enough to allow me to use their courtesy vehicle in the meantime because I forgot my spare tire for my camper at the shop. <laughs> so I gotta go get that. Bring that here so they can patch that. I've also gotta go talk to PBX down the road there. I'd like to get some quotes on uh, a few things. Not that I'm gonna buy them right now, but uh, I wanna know what I'm looking at. Uh, I also had uh, an engine light pop up on my truck uh, this last week. And it kind of concerned me a little bit. I was able to clear it. It was uh, the engine speed sensor. So what the it's on the front of the engine. There's a little sensor there, and uh, it wasn't connected properly in there. And I think a little bit of moisture had gotten in there at one point, and it uh, threw off my engine light. And I was like, oh man. One sec. I gotta get the air conditioning going in here. This is a little Suzuki little go kart. What are you beeping at me for? Why do go-karts beep? I don't know, I don't have one. Okay. But, uh, oh man, is it hot in here? Where's the fan? How's this thing work? A little mini spaceship. One second, guys, I'm trying to figure this thing out. Ah, oh, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now that I can breathe again. What was I saying? Yeah, the engine light uh, kind of threw me off. I was like, this is my, my baby. What's wrong? What's wrong? So I pulled over and I looked up the code and it said engine speed sensor. So I Googled it and did a bunch of research and figured out where it was and uh, looked at it on the engine. And sure enough, the cover that was protecting it from getting moisture in there was not covering it properly. I, I hadn't noticed it before. So I covered it up. Well, I, I disconnected the plug. I looked at it. It looked, it looked good, a little bit corroded in there. So I cleaned it off cleaned the plug, plugged it back in, started up the truck, the code was cleared. And everything's been good since then. But I wanna go talk to PBX and be like, hey, this happened, what, what do I do? Whoa, what happened? Have you guys, this happened to you before? Like they're the mechanics and technicians that uh, would know, right? I said, do these sensors uh, go after a while? Should I be thinking about replacing it now? I cleaned it off, now it's working. I don't want it to happen again. Pretty much what the engine speed sensor does, it's the engine crankshaft speed sensor. So when it's not working properly, it's not sending the signal for how fast the engine is going properly to the computer. So it, it, it causes the engine to misfire slightly. The engine was still running fine and it also cr takes a good like three seconds of cranking for it to start. So it takes longer to start and the engine, uh, it doesn't, it wasn't sputtering, but you could tell it was misfiring just a little bit when the code was active. And when I cleared the code, it was all fine again. So I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that technician Josh here just solved the problem and that I'm practically a mechanic and they should give me some kind of award or something. <laughs> Cause I'm usually not good at this kind of stuff, but uh, I figured this one out. Uh, and uh, now I'm gonna go talk to them and be like, should I just replace the sensor? Like, I don't want that to happen again. Worst, worst case scenario, the thing stops working completely and the engine won't even run or I'll shut it off. I won't even be able to get started again, right? This is from the research I've been doing. Disclaimer, I'm not actually a mechanic. I'm not actually a technician. That's why I need to go talk to the professionals because I actually don't know what I'm talking about. Just so you know. <laughs> oh, yep. There you go. Okay, so we're back. They're done with Old Blue. I got a few errands done in the meantime. So, 
You'll see now that the outside edge of the passenger tire looks a lot better than it did before. Yep. And then my driver's side is the one now that's going to be on the inside, a little bit more worn. But this was the inside on the passenger side, now this is the outside. So the outside likes to wear a little more because that's where the pressure is when you're making corners, right? All looks good though. Got a couple other errands done while I was waiting. I brought them the camper tire. They're gonna work on that now. That one I'm not in a rush to get back. Uh, they're gonna get it done a little later. Come on, old blue. There you are. There you are. How do you feel? How does it feel? Feel better? Okay, good. I feel better. We have more errands to do now. Let's get the AC working. The AC works in this truck, that I know. All right. So I've already started reorganizing the shop. We're gonna have to do a little bit more yet though because we're gonna be putting the camper in here along with Old Blue. So the camper's gonna go on this side here right up against about where that toolbox is. Gotta to get all of this stuff moved. And Old Blue's gonna come in here for winter time. Uh, that way it's stored inside and I don't have to winterize it. And it's better for it to be inside. If we have the space, why is it not inside? Why are we leaving it out in the cold, right? So it's gonna be a little squishy, but we're gonna make the most use out of this space. I mean, I pay for every square foot of it. I better use every square foot of it, right? So, I've already moved all of our household stuff, which is gonna go into our new house once we buy a house, over there. So that whole corner there is uh, not always gonna be in here. This is temporary storage. Left a little space open to get to the fire exit there. I don't know how we're gonna do it exactly, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna use up every square foot of this place. Old Blue stayed at the shop. I wasn't expecting to leave it there, but they're always so nice to me there. They know me by name when I show up. So I told them what was going on with my truck, the problem with my engine light, uh, what I thought the problem was, my solution to it, and that it seemed to fix the problem, but there was still a little bit of a, a stutter in the engine, like just ever so slightly. Sounds like it's just misfiring. Just, just everything. Sort of like that, very quietly, if you listen to the exhaust, I know my truck and I know when it's not running at exactly 100%. So it's at like 99.9% .9 right now. So they're gonna go over all of the wiring. They also think it's that same sensor that I thought it was, but they're a trained technician, so they'll actually be able to verify that. They're also gonna go and check all the wiring all the way along the engine just to make sure that there's no issues with the wiring. Uh, and I should get the truck back. What is today? Friday, Saturday. I told them I have to leave by Tuesday, so left the truck there with them. They'll take care of that issue. If I need a new sensor, they'll replace the sensor. Maybe the wiring's bad, they can, whatever. At least a professional's looking at it. I don't wanna mess around when it comes to the engine of that truck. When the engine light comes on, you get it looked at. I don't wanna let those problems fester uh, and get worse and suddenly I'm stranded way down in like Iowa or way out in Alberta or something. And then I have to have people that I don't know work on my truck or get it towed all the way back here so that I can get people I trust, like I know and trust to work on it. Just better just, just leave it there, get it done now. So the tires are done. We were getting the camper tire fixed. I can go pick that up later or tomorrow. That problem, the engine sensor is getting looked at. Now it's time to get the rest of our errands done. We gotta get our camper cleaned out. We wanna get it ready for use. And that's our, uh, our project for today. Get that camper ready to use. That's why I was getting that tire fixed. So they got that tire done really quickly. Like usual. They're always very quick. From, from my experience anyway. So I'm going over there to pick that up now. And then I'm going home for a bit. Probably have some lunch. And then Britt and I are coming back uh, to the camper. Like I said, we're going to be cleaning it out. Getting it ready to use. or Getting it cleaned out anyways. We haven't used it in a while. Our friends used it last week and they already cleaned it. So we don't have a lot to do. But since they use it, they're the only ones that have used it, right? So I figured we should go through it all and uh, clean up a few. Because I don't expect them to clean up like all the storage spaces where everything is too. We got the spare tire fixed for it. 
you know, just trying to do a little bit of maintenance, I guess, is what we're doing. Because there's a few things that weren't working for them, and they were, they were friends, and they were very nice. They fixed it for us. <laughs> thank you. If you guys are watching this, thank you for doing that. I really appreciate that. There's something wrong with the toilet that they fixed. and So we're going to go over it all now and uh, see if there's anything else that needs attention, and just make sure that it's good to go. Future Josh coming at you, just wrapping things up here. Realized I didn't film an end of the day again. So it was a busy day at home, just running errands, getting things done. We got the uh, the truck brought into PBX there to the shop to get my uh, sensor looked at. Obviously, I'm back in the truck now, so spoiler alert, it's still running. <laughs> it's running good. Uh, got the camper tire fixed. We cleaned out the camper, got it all ready to use, got it ready. Uh, that's going to be parked inside the shop like I was telling you for winter from now on because we got a bigger shop now So we're gonna use every square foot of it So that's the plan there clean up the shop organize that got a lot done there not quite done, but got quite a bit done there What else have we done got the steer tires switched around uh, I've driven on them for uh, About a thousand miles already since filming this so far so good that I, I, Seems to be running well nothing to report it's just a little day at home but we'll be back in the truck soon as you can tell so thanks for watching today everybody i'll see you in my next video